By the end of this video, you'll have some new techniques for bringing some sexy time into your singledom while we are socially distancing. Be sure to stay tuned until the end of this video so you can get the pleasure practice e-guide as a way to have some fun while you're flattening the curve. If you're here now, I appreciate your courage and vulnerability for leaning in and doing something new during this time. I'm a marriage and family therapist and I've been working in the field for over 10 years and I'm going to teach you some of my favorite techniques on what you can do when you're single to get the most out of this time and to find the partner that you're actually looking for. Of course, be sure to hit subscribe and the bell because I release a new video every Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So let's just jump right in. Step one, do something really bizarre like dance parties or erotic recess or digital happy hour with your friends. Now, what does that mean? Dance hour, erotic recess, what are these things? There are communities all over the country and globally right now who are doing new and innovative ways to connect. It's really important, especially if you're single and living alone, to find ways to still be close without actually being with people because we have to be physically distant and we also have to be, you know, connected because intimacy is important. It's one of the basic human needs to connect to others. So do as much as you can to get on Zoom or FaceTime or some video form of connection so that you don't feel isolated. Some people like to do happy hours. On Sunday, I went to dance church, followed by erotic recess with Carlin Ross, who works with Betty Dotson. And being there with women from all over the world is so exciting because it just is really rejuvenating during this really isolating and somewhat lonely time. Also, I really want you to get comfortable with being on camera because when you're dating in 2020 and beyond, it's really important that you are comfortable getting your picture taken, being on video, because this is how you're gonna present yourself in a lot of online dating, which is the primary way that most people meet now. Part two, sex toys. Find sex toys, because when you're partnered, sex toys are still important. Sex toys aren't something just for yourself. My husband bought me Le Wand, get a vibrator no matter what your gender is you need a vibrator so if you are a person with a vulva this quick anatomy lesson this is the clitoris this would be the clitoral hood inner labia outer labia a toy like this a vibrator would go on the clitoris it wouldn't go in the hole which is the vagina inside we would not put it inside the body maybe we'd put it at the opening we'd put it at the perineum which is the opening between the vagina and the anus but we wouldn't then take it from there and move it back up to the clitoris because we want to make sure we use different hygiene from one area of the body to the clitoris and to the vagina, which is very sensitive. So if you are a person with a penis or testicles, you can use this type of thing around the top of the penis, under the glands, under the base of the penis, on the testicles, same thing from the testicles to the anus and there is also the perineum. So really important know your anatomy buy sex toys they are amazing a love language of mine is sometimes buying gifts for people i have bought sex toys for friends colleagues family it doesn't matter sex is important and pleasure is important and healing so please don't have any shame in your sex toy game especially if you're single point three self-touch in new ways so have you ever YouTube self-massage before? I have. It's a time where we really do need touch, but things like massaging your own hands, massaging your feet, giving yourself a head massage, these are the things you're gonna have to do if you're single and living alone because you're gonna have to meet your own need for touch since we are now socially distancing from others and you probably can't see other people. So go to YouTube, learn self-touch, let me know how you get your needs for touch met during this time. Drop your comments below. Really interested to hear from you. I always love your comments. Point four, 
This is an opportune time to understand the mind and body connection. What does that mean? Well, it means when you're first dating someone that there is a period of limerence, a period of new relationship energy where all the adrenaline and the PEA hormone are in your body and you think you've met the one and you've fallen in love. Well, every person probably has an experience like this and really what you've fallen in love with is the way your body feels when you look at that person. So it's actually not about the person. You've fallen in love with the way your body feels feels when you see that person. So take some time during this singledom, some time to learn about what's the difference in your body and the mind-body connection from the dating phase to the relationship phase to marriage. There are different phases and different neurobiological things that are happening within the body as you partner with other people. Take this time to do a little education on that learn about these things so that you don't repeat past patterns in your future relationships because it's really important to keep learning and growing in my personal opinion that's the sexiest thing you could do and last but certainly not least one of my favorites mirror time what is mirror time well I went to graduate school to get my master's in marriage and family therapy. And a lot of what we had to do was record ourselves in a session. And when we were recording ourselves in this session, we would then watch back the tape in front of our classmates and get critical feedback, thoughts, comments, concerns about how we presented. I believe this is all really important as a single person too. So I would suggest looking at yourself in a mirror Noticing what it looks like when you say certain things, when you smile, when you're nervous, start to feel different emotions. Take time to look at yourself and take critical inventory of what you're giving off because maybe you're looking a way that you don't mean to look. It's important to calibrate the outside with the inside while you are on a dating adventure. Another thing that you could do if you don't wanna be in front of the mirror is you could set up your phone and video yourself and then watch yourself back. That's basically essentially what we had to do in graduate school. And after thousands of hours of watching yourself, you really get used to your voice, your face. So I promise it gets easier, but it does feel challenging at first. Why not take time now to work on these skills though? I think growth is so important in being single or partnered. Also, when you watch it back, practice looking without judgment. Practice bringing forth a compassionate part of yourself that looks at you without judgment. So just curiosity, mindfulness, a neutral tone. It's super awkward at first, and it gets easier, like I said. Thank you for staying with me through this whole video. If you've made it till the end, I want you to get the Pleasure Practice e-guide. It will actually tell you specifics on how to get a more detailed look into mirror time with your body for pleasure. So be sure to get that. Just scroll down to the link below. And if you like this video, please click like, subscribe and the bell. I release a new video Wednesdays at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and say hi on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, at The Sex Healer. See you then. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day.